Justice Hooney is about to make his pro debut against Django Opalu. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, he is the challenger. Please welcome, making his professional debut, Justice Hooney! And so it begins. An amateur star who medalled at the World Championships, one of the gold medal favourites at the Olympics tonight. He attempts to become the first boxer ever to leave the ring after their pro debut with an Australian title belt. He's just 21. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. The champion, Fuinga Opelu! <laughs> the Australian heavyweight champion. He's Samoan born, as you can see. 26 years of age. 15 pro fights so far, 13 wins, 10 by knockout, one draw and one loss as I mentioned came by split decision in a three round tournament fight. So he has a massive edge in experience this evening and you can tell by his record he most certainly can punch. He's here for one thing and one thing only tonight, that is to upset the party and to keep his Australian heavyweight title belt. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. Professional debut, he is the challenger. Justice GPH Hooney. And uh, his opponent standing across in the red corner. He is the reigning, defending Australian heavyweight champion. Touch gloves. Waiting for. Let's find out. Hooney. Oh, oh, wow. Ducks under a big one from Opalu. <laughs> Opalu's wasting no time. Hooney picks it, comes towards him. The left hook of Hooney gets through. He goes to the bottom stance, and those hands are significantly higher as a pro. Absolutely. He got the rude awakening through his hands right up next to his next to his temples. And he's going to need him in this fight. And you can see as he jabs. He was saying in the lead up to this fight, what gave him the most confidence oh, is nice right hand. the number of rounds that sparred. And he says that he generally does things like that. A lightning fast right hand that got through on Opelu. Yeah, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Oh, nice one too again. He's using his height and his range. Drifting down. That's right. Opelu's waiting now. He's a bit more cautious when he goes in. Here's the highlights of the opener. Yeah, nice left hook to the head, left hook to the body from Hooney. Jabbing well is Opalu and going to the body, and oh, there's the right nice hand shot. from Hooney. Goes to the body and they exchange there, and then there's an oh, uppercut from Hooney. There was the uppercut. Opalu showing some bravado, but that hurt him. Yeah, he took a big shot. But Hooney's not overexerting himself, he's staying composed. Which Looks for that one shot again, does Hooney, and hooks in. Work from the outside. No. Compared to the amateur star. Yeah, they're both working hard. You can see the nice right hand there from Hooney. Just keep it all week. It was Hooney that took the uppercut there. <laughs> there you go, Apalu showing some bravado. Good. He's in great shape to do the championship round. Here's the highlights from the previous Ted. Yeah, you can see the double jabs, both jabs coming in from both guys, and upper loop pushing. Kick off with a four or six rounder against a journeyman, not a national title fight. Really hit a fight. Look at these guys, good action inside from both guys. A lot more from Hooney, but both guys are working hard. Double nice. left hook out of here, but they don't. Nice work. That is nice quality stuff from Justice Uni. And a left hook to follow as well. To the body and upstairs. Opalu leaves himself open. Stop! Stop! See, Opalu's strategy is a professional. If you look at the way he's throwing his punches, he's, not, he's putting minimal energy into the punches right now. He's just buying time. He's letting the rounds go by. 
I think in the hope that Huni's going to run out of gas, that could be a strategy to just kind of pull him into deep waters. We'll see. Everything Huni's doing is with ferocious power, and that drains your energy like you wouldn't believe. Round four this is. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Some great combination punching in this round from Huni. But Opelou's had his moments too as he takes a right hand. He's taken a lot of shots, Opelou. Now he takes a few. And he stands and mocks his opponent. See, he's trying to get him emotionally. But Huni's got to keep punching. Big round of action in Brisbane. Oh, major, major shots. As you can see, good way action there. Nice left uppercut from Apulu. And Huni's throwing them nice combinations, but they don't look to be hurting Apulu really seriously. The pressure, the heavy pressure on him. And there you can see. Good body shot from Op waiting on his opponent to bring the action. Beautiful work, but you know, boxing is a mixture of aerobic and anaerobic. You can't just keep big right all hand them from big Justice Hooney. Great work. And Hooney. Nice right Slick hand. Right hand. <laughs> He's still got his wherewithal to do them kind of shots. That's good. Well, if you posturing in the corner here. Exactly. If you look at the body language of, of oh, big left. I think he'll be happy if he can get him out of here. Big right hand again. Big shot. Opolu takes them so well. I think Opolu better put um, phase two of his strategy in place. Big uppercut. That's exactly, that's exactly. And is Opolu. And now Hooney gets back to punching range, but he's happy to come inside and Great work. throw that combination that finishes with a big right hand and goes to the body with a left hand as Hooney and a right hand again. Yeah, punching it with great, great ferocity. Oh, great work. Great work. Opalu taking a lot of shots here. I think taking... Hooney working oh. hard and that's a big right hand. Taking more than he bargained for. And There's the a towel. Comes in. There's the towel. And the journey has begun. Wow. Hooney, the heavyweight, is on his way. What a boxing performance we've seen from a man, remember, who was fighting the Australian heavyweight champion in his professional boxing debut. Wow. What an achievement. History has been made in Brisbane. And Justice Hooney had to work for it. He's got the Australian title and is the first ever to win it on debut at any weight. Yeah, I love his style. I love the way he fought in this fight. The only fear was that he might run out of steam. But even when he ran out of steam, he caught his breath well on the ropes. And as you can see, beautiful right hand. It was really the tail of the whole fight. He was working body and head. When he took shots, he didn't look hurt, so his chin looks to be sound but punching in bunches, continually working, working off the jab, great ring generalship. Can't be faulted really for a debutante. Can't be faulted. We thought he was running out of puff there for a period, but geez, second win came and when it did, it was brutal. Round six was outstanding and then he jogged to center ring for round seven and produced <laughs> the best action of the fight. Yeah, thank God for um, second win. You can see obviously that he's done his work in the gym because his energy came back. Is, um, and look at this, yeah. How good, did he good not go it. down? Yeah. The, the towel came in and they embrace yeah. the sparring partners. Great as the baton you. is passed. Yeah. And we've got a new heavyweight champion in Australia. Brilliant. Great and stuff one to watch. Fella. The red corner retires their fighter, your winner by technical knockout, creating history on debut from the blue corner. He is the new. team for the opportunity um, I dedicated this fight tonight to my great uncle Manu Huni who um, was a massive supporter of me 
and um, he passed away uh, late last month and couldn't be here for this fight. So I just want to say uh, this fight's dedicated to you.